All right, my friends, welcome to this impromptu live stream. We're here with Don Dunn. Get What's her up? Done, What's, up? What's up? How's it going, man? It's going great, Gene. Super exciting. As you know, we have a lot of stuff going on and uh want to let everybody know um we're gonna we're, we're gonna be doing it cedia at the cedia show pretty yeah, excited so i want to talk to you uh, in case our viewers that are watching right now don't know what cedia stands for what cedia is all about as an integrator somebody that's been doing this for 30 years don close to it yeah what is cedia what does it mean and why is it important well cedia let's just talk about the name it's the custom installation uh Custom Electronic Installation and Design Association. Blah, it's late. Um, and CD has been around um, for well over 30 years. Um, CD is an organization that brings manufacturers and integrators together. Um, CD is an organization that um, gives training for all integrators out there. So they're up on the latest techniques. It's a, it's a format for integrators to share techniques and technologies. It's been an absolutely phenomenal organization. It has done, it's created this industry. It really truly has. And they're continuing to grow. They're continuing to evolve. And, and it's exciting. You know, after COVID, being able to do our show again is, is really exciting. It, it's a great opportunity for us all to come together, um, see faces you haven't seen, especially now in a long time, touch and see and listen to new equipment, new speakers, new electronics get education on new technologies, new ways to efficiently do things and, and ways to make your clients happy. Um, it's going to be a great show. And I know we're going to be very busy there. We're going to be extremely busy. Um, I wanted to do something different at Cedia that's never been done at a trade show before. And this is really exciting. And in order to pull this off, I had to get some resources involved to help us. Mm -hmm. I called up Sound United. I told them my idea of actually doing virtual trade show coverage at a trade show. Right. To my knowledge, that's never been done. Uh, you guys know we do the virtual press events on our channel. Um, mm -hmm. But to actually go at a trade show and provide live streaming, educational stuff, product technology overviews, having subject matter experts with us at a panel to sit down throughout the day and offer this kind of content to you guys, it's incredible. It really is. I'm excited. I haven't been this charged up for a trade show in many right. years. And the fact that you get to come with us, Don Dunn, it's going to yeah. be CD is awesome. Well, I know a lot of people have tried to do the virtual trade shows, and it's a relatively new thing. So there hasn't been a ton of success. We've had some success with it, especially new product launches. Um, and bringing products out, having the designers and engineers explain the product to the consumer. This is just a large scale. So, so what we're going to do there is one of the things that I'm going to be going around with with your with your cousin, and we're going to be filming. We're going to go to almost every relevant booth. We're going to talk to the to the movers and shakers uh, in each technology, each product line. Find out what they've got coming out. Maybe talk to them about how they're addressing some issues that are being done. Really get. A little more than just service fluff on it you know at audioholics we're known to measure test and kind of dig a little deeper and that's what we're going to do and as an integrator a, a working professional integrator i'm excited so i'm going to be able to to bring this integration industry and these products that these manufacturers make to a broader audience and maybe answer some questions that people have had on their mind and on the flip side um love you sound united we're super excited to be working yeah. with you I mean, Sound United has just stepped up their game. And we're going to be doing, what, at 4 o'clock every day, we're going to be doing live streams from the the CDS show with true technology experts. I mean, people that are heralded and coveted in the industry as experts in their particular field. And we're going to discuss things. Like, I know we're going to talk about HDMI, the state of the union on that, um, what's going on with receivers and amplifiers. Yeah. We're, we're going to talk about audio i think we're gonna i don't want to give it all away but i know we're gonna do like a speaker panel and, yeah. and and more and more people now that they've heard about it are coming to us wanting to be a part of this because you know bottom line is audio is 800 800 pound gorilla in an online format for this particular genre and and we're going to be working hopefully with cedia and and now and, and, and in the future um because things are evolving the trade show still will be there i believe because people just like to get away, <laughs> you know, it's a nice excuse to get away and have some great dinners and, 
maybe have a bourbon or two with some people you haven't seen. But the virtual well, trade well, show, what's that? We are always pro trade shows. Oh, yeah, okay? absolutely. Aside absolutely. from what I'm doing here with the virtual mm -hmm. press events, that's a supplement, in my opinion, ver real trade shows, meeting people face to face, getting to touch the right. product. Right. You can't replace that. You, you definitely need that to keep this industry going. And that's why Cedia has reached out to us and we're going to be working with them. We're working with Expona. That's going to be like the next phase. So yeah. we're really embedded with trade shows. We are pro trade show. We are not trying to replace a trade show by any means. And I think the value of trade shows, especially the education classes that they offer that you have to pay for is, is an oh, awesome thing to do. There's no other place you can, there, there's no university of home theater, right? There, there's it's a shame, but I mean, there's a couple <clears throat> places that have tried it, but there's really no formal master's degree in, in, in audio video. I mean, I'd have a PhD as long as I've been in yeah, it. Right. Could, but one of the, and, and as you and I started this process, Gene, kind of my main goal has been to bring the integration industry products and uh, integrators themselves, what we do and our skill set and level to the direct consumer market, because at some point down the road, there's going to be a merging of the two. You know, you've got a, your do-it-yourself automation products, which are growing and popular. A lot of people fall on their face with them. Some people like them. Some people don't want to mess with it. And CD has always done the high end and, and will continue to do the high end for people that have the ability to do that. But you're going to see more and more integrators trickle down this technology and installation skill set to the average consumer. I mean, I'm an average consumer. I'm a working Joe. You know, I got to sing for my supper. Uh, I love audio, video, and technology. And there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of great information. I know that uh, what Mark Dahlquist and his forums, they're doing some great stuff on Facebook. But there's still a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of opinions. People buy on impulse on the opinions of others and fiercely defend their decision. So it's 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 a way that we can kind of blend this. And I think it's going to evolve. CD is going to evolve. Um, companies are going to evolve to we to we're more uh, conducive working together instead yeah. of just, uh, a lot of people don't know what integrators are. In fact, when people go, so what do you do for a living? I'm like, mm, I sell TVs. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> I create music and cinema and integrate technologies and automation and lighting control and yep. and sound. And people are like, huh? What? I still have but, family that think I install stereos, so I can't explain yeah. to them the abstract, you know, he what it is to do stereos. an online <laughs> publication. Hey, and shout not, out to Teo. He's watching. Hey, bud. Teo. Teo in the house. Teo is one of the nicest human beings on the planet Earth. For man. sure. Powerful. Yeah. We've got a great team. Um, I'm super happy with what we got going at Audioholics. Um, the, the smart home, we, we've kind of taken a break on it because we've been putting it together. I mean, that's the bottom yeah. line. I know you've got Shane Rich at your house right now. Right now. Doing, we're doing, doing this something. right now. We're setting up. Like, we're, we're recalibrating. Yeah. Look at that cutting edge storm processor. Yeah, it's it's cool. Yeah. So we're trying to get your house completely done. The audio and we've had a little bit of a problem getting a few pieces of equipment, which is industry wide, which is something we're going to do a live stream on one night. If you're going to buy a receiver and amplifier processor, uh, even a lot of speakers right now, be prepared to wait because it's, it's 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 a drought going on right now. But once we get your house completely done, then we're going to start going room by room, product by product, that yep. you've lived with it. You you can talk about having the product, especially the architectural and, and or, or the products that we use as integrators, because it's kind of hard to test in wall speakers unless you're going to rebuild your wall every time that you do it. So this is great landscape audio, um, the distributed video from AV Pro Edge, the new yeah. TVs that you have from Sony, the projection systems that you have. The Luxel network. A, a lot. So not to digress but going into this uh audioholic smart home the whole idea was to to truly express what the modern home couldn't be or can be it literally has almost every discipline covered we still have your lighting control system going in um we've got your motorized blinds and shades that are going to be integrated going in uh, we've got your hvac control going in we've got surveillance cameras going in hell we're even going to put a ratio in to control your sprinklers to do that we've got locks going in so i mean there's a lot of stuff um that people are going to see and it's going to be really really cool to to share and show that now just because everything's high end doesn't mean 
every average consumers can just look at it and dream. I mean, there's a lot of products right now. It's it's just the idea of what you can do. Yep. Got a shout out from Vincent Chen talking about silicon as well. Keep the old stuff uh, alive. Oh, Vincent, a phone call. Sorry, man, dude. I've been hammered, yeah. but Thanks, I get what you brother. But no, so, it's exciting. So one thing that I one thing that's a little bit different because I've saw someone commented that in the past has been some live streams at these shows. Well, what we're doing different is we're sitting down with a panel of experts. Mm -hmm. And for example, we're doing a loudspeaker panel about loudspeaker measurements and what what's happening with Cedia with the Cedia integration tool, as Absolutely. well as specifying uh, loudspeaker measurements and, and maximum output and all that stuff. So Anthony Gramani is already on board with us. He's going to mm -hmm. be there. I'm getting Jason other subject Dunstall. matter. Yeah. Jason Dunstall for uh, video. Who's like Joe Silva's yeah. protege. Uh, um, Tom Dunn from AV Pro Edge, who's a video yep. expert. So I, I, I don't want to talk about too much about it, but I mean, CD has developed some design software for integrators in the industry that I think is going to revolutionize room design. I mean, and that's something super exciting. We're going to, we're going to be talking about and bringing out at the show. And the fun thing is we're going to probably with this guy, you get him a couple of drinks in him. We're going to have a lot of outtakes. We're going to have a lot of B roll footage. Yeah. We're going to no, have a lot of fun. No, with this. Do you want to go to war? I'll take it over. <laughs> no, nah, it's gonna it's gonna be a good time. We got to go to San Elmo's, man. Actually, Indy's a great town. Um, you know, there's so much new technology. I mean, with COVID, everybody's ready to get back in the saddle. Um, there's some great products coming out. It really is a renaissance right now. Um, once I think sometime into this year, first to next year, we're gonna start seeing supply levels, le things level out, and and stuff coming in. So, I mean, it's it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a lot of fun, man. I um. I'm looking forward to going and seeing a lot of faces and seeing, you know, in our industry, people kind of go from one company to the other mm -hmm. and you've known them for many, many years and, and really seeing what they have, a lot of distributed audio products coming out. Um, there's, I mean, cool stuff, man. There's smart refrigerators. There's little units you can grow your own plants in. I don't know what kind of plants you might grow, but you can grow your own plants <laughs> inside of them. Um, I mean, they're just crazy cool technologies, you know, like the Josh AI, I really want to, uh, talk to them and see what they've got going on because Josh AI is kind of the next step. I mean, it's, yeah. it's like Alexa that it's like an intelligent Alexa. You can actually give it multiple commands to do things and it's, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, do you think that the Josh AI stuff is going to be integrated into stuff like control four, or do you think that's kind of off the road? Oh, it already is. I mean, it already is. It's already a product. It's just Josh AI is a supplement to it. And it's an intelligent way to 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 use your voice. I mean, the the golden grails integration of technology with the human mind or human beings. Right. You know, we went from remote controls to keypads to buttons to touch screens. You know, now we've got it on our phone, and we've got some voice capability. I mean, I've got several um, installations deployed where people have Alexa and they're using that with their Control Four for more or less basic commands. I mean, you know. Turn on yeah, lights. Turn on turn switch. On. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, Josh is going to allow you to do things like, hey, Josh. <laughs> Jackson, you know, Jackson. 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 <laughs> look, <laughs> look up Bloodsport from 1993. He's also, he's also uh, Gomer from Revenge of the Nerds. I forgot to get a picture, but man, your college yeah. years. He's Gomer. Oh, Gomer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what can I say, dude? I was a frat boy. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, we're we're gonna bring a full crew of people. It's gonna be myself, Don, uh, Tony Liotta, who's done a ton of work behind the scenes for Audioholics, including uh, publishing and doing some videos. And of course, we have um, Matthew Pose is gonna be involved, and he's gonna bring kind of the tech because I want to talk loudspeaker stuff and I want to talk acoustics. Um, so it's gonna be a mix of product show coverage, light right. education, light technology overviews. And we're going to have lots of co of content that we're going to be publishing after the show. So stay tuned Phil, to this Phil, channel. We're going to be doing with Phil, right, as well? Phil who? Uh, oh, yeah, Phil, Phil Jones. Yeah, Phil yeah, Jones Phil. from Sound United is going to be hosting yeah. some of the, I know well, like five Phils, so I'm like trying to yeah, think well, about is, that. Is there any other Phil besides him? I mean, no, he <laughs> is the ultimate Phil for sure. He is the ultimate Phil. No, he's, that guy is a wealth of knowledge, man. And yep. probably one of the other nicest guy you'll ever meet, so... It's going to be cool, man. It's going to be a great show. We're going to be really busy. That's for so sure. Here's a question I want to pose to everybody mm -hmm. that's watching right now. And if you watch this after the live streams over, you could still put comments. 
I would love to read them. What do you guys want to see us cover at Cedia? Because it's it's a big show, and obviously there's only about four of us, so we're going to do as much as we can in the three or four days we have there. Tell us what you most want to see, whether it's a product, a new product that's coming out that we may not know of or you may know of, or if it's a technology, if you don't understand how to transmit HDMI 2.1 throughout your house, if you want us to talk about that, we'll get some subject matter experts in on that. Um, calibration stuff, anything you name, put it down below. We have, what, about four weeks, five weeks until we have to get ready to head yeah. out to Indy? Yeah, yeah. it's a, a, what, the uh, fourth, is it when it starts? September, September 1st through the 3rd, I think. Okay, well, that's when we go back then. Um, so I saw Vincent talking about Savant. I'm going to go to Savant, Crestron, um, Ilanji, Control 4. I mean, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be unbiased and just, you know, not just products that I integrate with and see what yeah. everybody's got going on because, I mean, there's some great um, integration and automation products out there. And um, I was able to uh, last year be a judge in the uh, CE Pro uh, Consumer Technology Association Best of Awards. And, you know, there were some really, really interesting technologies that I got to judge uh, um, on that particular thing. So I'm, I'm excited to actually see uh, some of them because with COVID, kind of slowed things rolling out a little bit. And, yeah. and now uh, we're going to be to the point where these things are going to be uh, working and have demos and being able to touch it and see it. The virtual trade shows are awesome. And I think things are evolving to do that. But I, like you say, Gene, there's always going to be a place for audio shows, always going to be a place for these type of events. Yep, absolutely. So we are excited about this news. We're going to be busy getting ready for the show and i appreciate any feedback you guys could give down below to to give us some guidelines on what you want to see Cal covered we're going to try to calibration the highlights yeah. yeah htv calibration definitely something that we want to touch on um ex you know ex we've always believed calibration and room correction mechanical room correction were important but especially now with the audio the audioholic smart house and being involved with gramani and matthew pose and and shane um from from rbh i mean literally that's something that we need to talk about i mean it's yeah. it that's the future um of setting things up i mean there's so many so many more things you can do than just plugging in a mic and running running an odyssey or something you know yeah i mean what we're doing in the audio hulk smart house in the theater room is is cutting edge stuff between the fir filter calibration of the active speaker system in fact that's what we're shane actually came up with a little bit of a, a different way he's going to try in my room to do the FIR correction to see if we could improve the sound even more, which, I mean, th let's put it this way. We're splitting hairs at this point because the sound in this room is phenomenal, but you know, as an audio Hulk, we're always trying to push it to the next level. And that's why he flew down here again to come and try to kind of tune it up a little bit more. We moved this, the, um, the screen off the wall and we put some acoustic treatments behind it. So now I have to retune the center channel because that's changed. Uh, the sound, the sonic signature of the center channel. So the next step in the Audio Hawks theater room is to just get the finishing touches. So right now the room is functional. It works. Most of the automation is connected. We still have a little <laughs> bit more. We have to do, I, I ordered that light bridge you were telling me about. The, yeah. Uh, for, for the Philips for Hue. The, so, so Gene's spends countless hours. He's like the mad scientist. And I'll get a text at like two 30 in the morning. He's like, dude, I got rid of the comb filtering and this and that. I'm like, Oh, great. <laughs> He he literally is trying to make this perfect. Um, so somebody asked something about Control 4 3.0. Um, we beta, uh, we're part of the beta test on 3.0. We've been running in 3.0 on systems now for a while with great success. Um, your dealer should feel comfortable running it. I mean, we've had quite, pretty good luck with it. We haven't had any real issues at all. It's a great, great um, upgrade. Awesome. Or listen, uh yeah, well, we did the review of the Perilous, and I'm getting a pair of Perilous and S7Ts in August. We're going to have a slugfest. We're going to put them up against the Revel F328s, and RBH is sending us RBH a of tower. 8300s. This is going to be – Don, you gotta, you're going to have oh, to host this. You're going to be uh, like – What's the guy's name from the wrestling that, that would always, uh, like, uh, promote those events? God, from uh, WWE. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't you know live, what I'm talking about. I don't about. live in a trailer, so <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> oh. Um uh, my favorite home automation is is control four because I've been a control four dealer yeah. since control four came into 
existence and saw them grow and mature and expand to the largest um, home automation business. Now, I was a Crestron dealer. Rick Flair. Uh, there you go. Rick Flair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Is that what he does? Is that? I'm trying. I don't know if I'm wrong, but um, you know, Crestron's a great product. Uh, I know Crestron's got some new, more uh, affordable stuff coming in. Uh, I was a Crestron certified designer for years. I sold millions of dollars worth of it i did amx uh, i did the old alon system i haven't really done alon g or i haven't done savant i'm familiar with them and they're both great product great products um and before i was introduced to control four i was wrestling with rti well that was yeah, not R an RTI's easy guys are cool rti yeah. is grown and, and sorry if i didn't mention them they've really been around for a long time now so there's a lot of great automation products now any of these automation products we're talking about are different like a Google Home or whatnot because they're really truly a universal automation product. They will control just about anything in your home, including your AV, which is yeah. really, really cool. Um, they make their own lighting or they'll work with other people's lighting. They make their, well, they bought Triad, so they really have phenomenal amplification. And and, and then Snap AV bought them, so now you've got Episode. I mean, <laughs> they're, a, they're a powerhouse and a monster. They, they make a lot of great products, but... I would say if I had to pick, um, you know, I would have to pick, I would say definitely control four, but you know, I have a long relationship with them <clears throat> and that's what we do every day. And it's, it's relatively affordable, knock on wood for saying that, but I mean, it's, it, it's a great, the problem with control four is they struggled a little bit early on as any new startup company did, but they revolutionized, um, using, um, you know, IP drivers using the ethernet to control their systems. They pioneered the use of Zigbee or, you know, Z Zigbee Z-Wave, six of one, half and does the other. So they've really grown and matured. And, and a lot of people that installed Control Ford struggled with it because a lot of them were AV guys and they didn't know what a static IP address was. They didn't know what a SSID was. So they had to learn that. Um, if a dealer really is good with Control 4 and good with networks. It's a great, robust, solid, reliable system. If you've had problems with it, maybe look at getting a different, somebody different to, to tweak it out for you a little bit because it's really install-centric product, so. Yeah, so somebody's asking, is RBH my favorite speakers? And, you know, I have a lot of favorite speakers, but <laughs> there's very few speakers that could compete at the level of what I have in the theater room right now. And in fact, I don't know of any that have fir filter implementation like what we're doing now so it's a very unique product and do you have a favorite that, kid <laughs> you know <laughs> I, mean, I mean that. Yeah. <laughs> well i'm no. just saying aesthetic. yeah there yeah so i mean there's so many good speaker brands out there and if you oh. notice <clears throat> we we tend to partner with the very best ones you know we have the perilisons we have martin logan we have legacy i mean we've got all these different speaker companies that continue to send us product to review because they make good stuff. You know, we just found a Rendell sound is probably one of the best values you can get at They're their killing. price class. Killing, killing, killing it. It's just incredible. Yeah. So it, it really depends on your application, your price, you know, your budget, all that stuff. Focal is another great brand that we've been covering for the last year or so. It, it, I think you make anybody, a lot of people make a mistake of getting a favorite speaker and then they get blinders on about it. You know what I mean? Right. And that's all they sell and that's all exist and it's the best. And dude, there's that's so many always a pet peeve of mine with a lot of installers. Oh, oh my they god. They only they only like what they know. And right. Everything well, else is trash. They don't have access to everything, which is true. Just like a lot of you know, people that are influencers or influencer buying decision don't have access to a lot of stuff or a lot yeah. of experience in multiple rooms and different things. So I mean, to say that there's a favorite speaker, I mean. I'm sick. Well, I mean, I, I, I love Focal. Then next week, oh man, I love Revel or, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just really hard to say. There's so many different great speakers out there with great sound. I think you just need to uh, pick a brand and pick a, a speaker application specific for what your needs are and roll with it, man. You know, the problem with demo and speakers is that they always sound different in different rooms. You know, if you go into a, a really truly good hi-fi shop which there's not many of anymore and you listen in an acoustically treated room with killer kick-ass electronics set up laser aimed and dialed in and you buy a, a those speakers and you take them home and you set them up they're not going to sound the same that's just the yeah. bottom line you know even if the room is real similar it's going to take some calibration and tweaking to make them sound the same but man i love paradigm 
I, I love Polkahios. I mean, they got some great products now. Yeah, uh, speaking Perlis of paradigm, I'm getting in a pair of the 100 Fs uh, very soon, oh, and James Larson's getting in. Um, killing me. Killing he's me. getting the 80 Fs. He's getting their LCR, and he's getting one 100 F because he can put it up on a pole and measure it, and I can't do that here. So, yeah, so we're going to be doing the Founder Series very soon on Audioholics. Yeah, lucky. Nah, the per listens are intriguing me. I really want to hear them. I mean, James Larson's is a super freak, and I trust his opinion, but yeah, I, I like to trust but verify. I want to hear him. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. Matt, I know Matthew loves him. I mean, dude, there's again Atlantic Tech. <clears throat> the list goes on. Kef, you know, I mean the JBL. <laughs> yeah, so my, goal, <laughs> my, my goal is to have a couple of dozen videos of of the really highlighted stuff that we mm -hmm. thought was great at Cedia. Uh, to put on the channel in addition to our live stream event. So we're going to really give you a good snapshot of what was at the show this year. You know, I mean, I, I need a really good set of studio monitors. So I'm going to start trying to demo and listen to some studio monitors. Those, those intrigued me. You know, there's so many different brands and performance out there. So yep. yeah, it's hard to say favorite speaker shit. I don't know. <laughs> I know I'm reviewing right now the Focal Canton number twos. And I think they're, they're pretty damn phenomenal speaker. I mean, they're really yeah, they great. Are. Some people think they're bright. I don't think they're bright, but I got old ears. So, um, <laughs> you know, where you, I don't know where you're going to put all these speakers, Gene. You're going to have to get like a conveyor. <laughs> That's a first world problem. <laughs> you know, I'll come help you out with that. So, yeah, for sure. To do all that. right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap this up. I just wanted to give you kind of a teaser. And I wanted to also give a shout out to Sound United for making this whole endeavor possible for us. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited. Is if you guys don't know who Sound United is, it's the it's the parent company that owns Denon, Marantz, um, Definitive Technology, Polk, Bowers and Wilkins. So I mean, they've got a slew of really great products uh, brands under their umbrella, and they see the value in us doing this live streaming there. And it's just and they've given us the platform because they have all the cameras well, set up, everything. One of the things I love about that company is their educational foundation. They really are on the cutting edge they have their finger on the pulse and they care about their clients and they care about the technology and they see the trends out there and they're really trying to bring out products that people will love and that will give them the best performance possible that's very cool for a big corporation like that to do that i mean they're super super cool man and uh they definitely deserve everybody's support i mean with that list of product brands it's hard not to yep all right, guys. Well, that's a wrap. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, share this video, if you will. And don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. You get direct access to us if you want to suggest new video topics or you have any questions. And uh, you also, you know, you could get this guy a haircut over here. We'll get some more patrons in there. Haircut? Yeah, to, you know, shaved your head. I'm joking. Well, I don't have any hair. So <laughs> we're gonna have a we're gonna be bringing out an HD 2020 YouTube channel soon, and we're gonna be featuring um, some installations that we've done. We've we've got some really great world class, super tricked out installs that we want to you know bring to people you know attention just because it's cool. I mean, not everybody can afford a Ferrari, but I like looking at them. You know what I mean? So yeah. looking yeah. forward to. It. All right, well, that's a wrap. And until next time, my friends, keep, keep listening. listening.